Hello, I'm Gary Sinise, and this is Hiring America. For the next 30 minutes, you'll see stories about military veterans and their families. Hiring America is a show that provides real career opportunities for veterans and features stories about remarkable organizations supporting the military community. Stay tuned and you'll learn more on how you can support this vital mission. The Armed Forces provides amazing training. I think about veterans as people who have already figured out how to serve. My military skills have been essential. Hiring veterans is a great business case. They're the best employees we have. They're flexible, hardworking, and they're used to a global workplace. If that isn't an asset to any company, I don't know what is. Hiring America. The award-winning television job fair for American veterans. Connecting you with companies who know your value. Learn about employers who are actively hiring today and organizations that support veterans. Your future success starts right here on Hiring America. Hiring America, presented by National University, a veteran-founded nonprofit offering tuition discounts for active duty service members and dependents. Learn more at nu.edu and presented by USAA, proudly serving the military community. What you're made of, we're made for. Hiring America, produced in partnership with DAV, fulfilling our promises to the men and women who served. This week, Hiring America is proud to introduce the first installment of our brand new series, Journey to the Muster, presented by Wells Fargo. Three members of the military family, three dreams of entrepreneurship, one goal, to compete in a regional pitch competition known as the Muster for a cash prize and the opportunity to take their innovative business ideas to the next level. With the support of Bunker Labs Veterans and Residence Startup Incubator Program, follow as our entrepreneurs journey to the Muster for a chance to change the world. I grew up in Minnesota and then moved as an adult to California. I've always wanted to be in the military. I just thought it was an honorable thing to do. I always looked up to my dad. You could always depend on him. I think a lot of that had to do with his service in the military. I wanted to instill those values in myself as well. I was excited about it, but I was nervous because I was little, I was young, but it was absolutely one of the best things I've ever done. I guess I've always been an entrepreneur and as a kid we joke because I didn't really play with Barbies, I played business. I love that you can start with something and just keep growing it and building it. I always love when businesses are successful but yet still helping other people at the same time. My husband's used to me taking on big things and he's used to me helping people here goes another idea she has. When I first had this idea, my mom said, you better either support her or get out of her way because that's just how she is. I have one son and he means more to me than anything in the world. I'm so grateful and fortunate to have him. When I went to have a second child, I was told that I needed to find an egg donor. That was a really difficult process. And it was at a time when I was already grieving and overwhelmed and feeling really alone because of the, the stigma around it all. The process is really difficult. It's not a very transparent industry either. So when you're first tasked with finding an egg donor, you think, where in the world am I going to get an egg donor? And there's not a lot of direction. And so at a time when you're, you're already so overwhelmed, the process is difficult, it's very expensive. I've been able to create a system where it's much simpler to search for an egg donor and find an egg donor or surrogate. So we have a database and right now we have over 6,000 profiles so people can find egg donors or surrogates anywhere in the world. And what that'll do is it'll save time, but also save parents an average of ten dollars to $30,000. And when they're spending upwards of $250,000 every single time they try to have a child, it's, 
it's quite a bit of money. I am doing this because I don't want anyone else to have to struggle the way I had to when trying to have a child. When I first learned about Bunker Labs, I thought, I don't know if I would fit exactly because I haven't been in the military in several years and because I was never deployed, I never felt like I was actually a veteran. But when I applied, they were so supportive and they said, absolutely, you're a veteran. You raised your hand and you went through the same basic training as we did. And I felt so welcome and encouraged from the start. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My hope is that You Me Mine can make the path to parenthood just a little bit easier for everyone. having a second set of hands. I've always wanted to somehow, however I can, help people as I go. There's something I could do to make the things a little better for them. I joined the Navy at 18, fresh out of high school, not long before 9-11, and I kind of have a family history of military service. Even now, it's kind of that way that I go about business. How do I add value to you, even if you may or may not be able to add value to me in the future, I still do it. I, and I, I don't know, it's just some sort of underlying driver that I've always kind of lived by, and this kind of fits into it. When I was kind of in that transition point, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Basically, the Navy gave me the, hey, you get to go do this job, which was windowless buildings 12 hours a day, or we're buying your contract out, find your own path. I wasn't going to go to a windowless building. I knew that. And then it just kind of felt like I need to create my own thing because there was this need in the market that nobody was addressing. So there was this back of my mind that I could be an entrepreneur, but it wasn't specifically plan A. I kind of just stumbled along in the dark until I found my way into it. I was spending time in Afghanistan working for the U.S. government. They can't grow a whole lot where they're at from a geographical standpoint, and then also they couldn't really grow anything that people wanted to buy because their farming practices were out of whack. So that was kind of jump-started me onto the path of thinking about how to really rethink how we're growing food. So we call our solution democratized agriculture, and basically the idea is, is that it's going to be making all produce local to everywhere and that's where the farmlet model came about. A small, relocatable micro farm structure that can grow every crop type, not just a few, right within the community that it's supporting. We're built from an aquaponic base, so there'll be koi fish in here. They'll create our fertilized water, which a pump will then take into the building. The farmlet's designed to be relocatable in a small space, something about the size of a shipping container. So people that have excess land, like this is a backyard, a city, they can ask us to bring a farmlet to this space. We bring it in, set it up. They don't have to pay anything for it. They're not leasing it, they're not farming it. We take care of everything. And then the hope is, is once these take off here, we can then adapt that growing technology back to places like Afghanistan or Africa that need this kind of stuff. There's a bunch of skills that you need in order to build a company, and those skills will often vary depending on the company that you need. And while I'm a bit of a polymath and can adapt and learn how to do just about anything I need to, it's a time constraint problem, right? I can't do everything, and so I have to recognize that I need to ask for help sometimes rather than just say, I'll figure out how to do it. That's kind of the way that I see veterans and residents in Bunker Labs is it's we help each other along the way. I might get two steps up, I turn around and reach down and grab and pull you back up those two steps with me and it oftentimes helps each other even if it doesn't necessarily seem like we would be able to. All it takes is one door and you never know where it's gonna lead. Hiring America will be right back. I'm a veteran. We hit a mine in Vietnam. When I came home, I didn't know where to turn. As America's veterans face challenges, DAV is there. My victory's been never giving up hope. 
My wife is always there to remind me we have a life to live. DAV provides a lifetime of support, helping veterans of every generation get the benefits they've earned. I am a veteran, but after I got out, I spent two years alone and homeless. Every year, DAV helps more than a million veterans so they can reach victories great and small. My victory was finding the support to get back on my feet. Now I'm getting things right with my family. I finally admitted with my PTSD, I wasn't doing well. But there's more to be done and more victories to be won. Now I wish I'd found DAV sooner. I am a veteran. My victory is just enjoying each day. Help support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. One of my biggest passion is to be able to listen and to help people, to touch people's lives. Being able to listen to your story. What are your dreams? What are your goals? I feel like in today's world, sometimes we're too much into ourselves, into everything that is happening around us. Being able to connect with nature, you feel so much better, right? My passion is to be there for people, to help, to bring solutions in one way or another. My dad used to be a business owner in Guatemala, but one of his passions was helping people and preaching and at the same time creating his nonprofit. My dad has been my mom and dad since I was a little girl. He has been since I was seven months old, so he's like my mentor. Right now he has chronic kidney failure. We were waiting for a transplant for over seven years. Uh, we're not gonna get it. But I'm grateful for the time being, and I know. The day that he goes, that'll be my angel. My dad always told me, always be an entrepreneur. It's the best thing that you can do in life is work for yourself. I met my husband, he was just getting out of high school. At that moment, he didn't have a plan or anything set in place. So he was like, the military is the way to go. Travis Air Force Base came with problems that they're happening on base, from medical, transportation, and they wanted to see what kind of solutions we can come up with. Having the opportunity to call Uber or Lyft from your phone that you can go everywhere, it's perfect. But going into a military installation, they require two IDs, they require different things because they're worried about the security of the base. And one of the problems too is like you can vouch them in, the person, but you don't know once they drop you off of your location, what they can do to the installation. That's how our dream became a business. Hey, we want to hire veterans, we want to hire military spouses that can come in inside the base. They already been pre-checked. They're not going to hurt our base. They're going to keep it protected and safe. And you know, as a military person, hey, this person is not going to do anything against it. Being an entrepreneur brings a lot of challenges, but I feel like we all go in ups and downs in life. And I truly believe that having the support and having the mentors that Bunker Labs provides to you. Wow, that's a light bulb turning on, you know? It helps you move forward. At least if you're gonna go into the desert and the valleys of your life or your career, you know that you have people supporting you and cheering you on and saying, hey, you know, if the project fails, it doesn't matter. You can come up with a next idea and you can move forward. And having that support, it's like having your own personal cheerleaders, you know? <laughs> Hiring America will be right back with more from Sean Passmore from Wells Fargo. And now we're speaking with Sean Passmore, head of military talent external recruiting and enterprise military and veteran initiatives for Wells Fargo, the presenting sponsor for Hiring America's new series, Journey to the Muster. Sean, thanks so much for joining us today. Hey, Lauren, glad to be with you. Thank you. Wells Fargo has been supporting the military and veteran community for almost 170 years. Why has that been so important to Wells Fargo? And what are some of the things that you're currently doing to continue that tradition? Yeah, you know, we, we certainly have had a, had a very long standing relationship with the military community. 
Uh, you know, the military is part of our DNA. It, it's part of who we are as a company, you know, all the way back to World War I. We were committed then and, you know, we remain committed today, um, not just to support our employees who have served in the military, but also by making a meaningful impact on the larger military community. Today, we do this by executing programs and initiatives to improve financial well-being of military families, to support veterans, um, veteran-owned small business, to address housing affordability for veterans and military families, to give scholarships and grants to student veterans, and of course, to assist in uh, military career transition. Tell us a bit about Journey to the Muster and why it was so important for Wells Fargo to support and present the series. One of the strategic pillars of our military affairs strategy is support to small business, specifically with regards to access to capital, technical assistance and support services, business model innovation, and policy research and advocacy. So Journey to the Muster certainly aligns with that strategy, which is why we are thrilled to have had the opportunity to team with Hiring America uh, to develop this series that highlights veteran entrepreneurs and the powerful connections between veteran and business communities. And Lauren, you know, I can't say it any better than Hiring America's own CEO, Bill Deutsch said at the very beginning of this project, we hope that their stories will serve to educate veterans on resources that are available to them, as well as inspire others to follow their dreams and start their own business. Sean, it was so great speaking with you today. Thanks for taking the time to join us on Hiring America. Thank you so much, Lauren. Please join us next week for the exciting conclusion of Journey to the Muster, presented by Wells Fargo. For me personally, I knew I wanted to pursue a, a, an education due to what I wanted to do in, in life. But if I had to look back at somebody in my same position, I would tell them, for one, get rid of every reason why you can't go to school. Just deciding and then committing to it, the first place to start is, what do you enjoy? What do you care about? And if there's a degree that you, know, you can translate that into, then let's go after that. If you're unsure, talk to somebody who's currently in school. If you're serving with somebody who's going to school, talk to them about it and what their experience is like. The thing is, I truly believe as far as the general education, it's a perfect time to develop an understanding of what you want to do. It helps you figure out what you want to do. There's always going to be room to adjust, to make changes. And so looking at anybody who was sitting in my position and they're thinking about going to school, I would tell them to go down to that college office. They can guide you and, and help you figure out what it is or ways that you can make it happen. Join the conversation. Follow Hiring America on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. For many years, it's been my great honor to have been able to dedicate much of my time to supporting the veteran community. The Gary Sinise Foundation fills a critical gap for veterans and military families with a range of initiatives. The foundation builds adaptive, smart technology homes for our most severely wounded service members, serves the children of fallen military heroes, and provides education and outreach to bring together civilians, and the military community. If you'd like to learn more or get involved, please go to GarySiniseFoundation.org. And remember that while we can never do enough to show our gratitude to our nation's defenders and their families, we can always do a little more. Thank you for joining us on Hiring America. Please tune in next week for more information. And remember, stay safe, Take care of one another. Hiring America, presented by National University, a veteran founded nonprofit offering tuition discounts for active duty service members and dependents. Learn more at nu.edu. And presented by USAA, proudly serving the military community. What you're made of, we're made for. Hiring America, produced in partnership with DAV. Fulfilling our promises to the men and women who served. This program is made possible by the generous support of the following companies.
Promotional consideration provided by JetBlue, a proud employer of those who served. 